It's super frustrating for players when the ball ends up close to the glass and it can so easily be avoided if they know what to look for. Hi guys, Sandy from the Paddle School here. In this video today, we're gonna to talk about a shot that is really frustrating to deal with, and that is when the ball bounces really close to the glass. So we're gonna identify when you would receive that ball, and also how you can deal with that in a match. So there are usually two occasions when this would happen. This would happen either when the ball comes close to the side glass and you're trying to play the ball close to the side glass, or when you've been lobbed and it plays and ends up being close to the back glass, and then you get stuck by the back glass. So to begin with, we're gonna talk about the side glass. So there are two options to hitting this ball that ends up close to the glass. One is that you want to try and play it almost like you're swatting a fly that you don't want to squash against the glass, yeah? And, and we've all been there where you want to try and get rid of that fly, and so you're gonna swat it like this and, and almost try and hit the fly without touching the glass. So that's what you want to do when that ball comes in. You want to try and play it with your racket going as close to the glass, um, but not really touching, otherwise you end up damaging the racket and, you know, kind of ruining your shot. The other way to deal with this is to allow it slightly away from the glass and play into the glass. So you're gonna hit the ball off the side glass to go back over because that's often you know, easier than you trying to come uh, around the shot like that. So those would be your two options to playing the ball that is close to the side glass. When it comes to the back glass, there are usually two kind of main options that, that cause problems. One is a direct lob, and that is, you know, straight from the racket, a nice really high lob that kind of bounces, you know, in past the service line, and then the second bounce is kind of hitting the glass, but it ends up staying close to the glass. And then the second option, which is actually more difficult to defend, is when they hit against their own glass and it's spinning in this direction, and it bounces really close to this glass and kind of comes up vertical as opposed to you know coming away and because of the spin and the trajectory it ends up sticking close to the glass those are those two main options with the back glass when it comes to playing that ball off either of those two there are really kind of three choices that you can make you can either try and take the ball as an overhead so for example if you are in the net position and that lob has gone up you move back and you say to yourself right this is going to be a difficult shot after the glass so this is one of those occasions when i'm going to come further back in the court hit a bandeja to avoid that situation. The other one is you can move back and you can play it you know, with a lob yourself. Now, I don't often recommend this shot off the back where you're scooping, but in certain situations, you might have to do that where it ends up close to the glass, and then you might kind of scoop that ball up for a lob. And then the third option is to actually use the glass yourself and to hit back against that glass. And now that can be something that even if it is quite close, you can end up playing a ball and often coming up with a little bit of top spin on this to hit up the back of the ball, come off the glass and then go to the other side like that. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Firstly, it will help you because you'll get all of our content and it will help you raise your game, but it also helps us build a bigger audience and expose Paddle to more players around the world. So to summarize, you really want to ideally make that decision as early as possible. Yeah, when you see the trajectory, you want to say, right, I can take this before the glass or after the glass because I don't want to give myself a difficult shot. And you can also see that should you fail to make that decision or you make a, a kind of the wrong decision, you always have your own glass as a backup. And particularly the shot against the back glass, if you can perfect this shot, and, and I'm saying this because it's not a shot that should be in your normal game, it's, it's almost a shot of desperation. But once you are in this position, the ball is behind you, a good shot is to hit off that back glass over to the other side. And so on this side, I'm gonna put a video about how you can use your back glass, where you should be hitting, and what you should be trying to do.